Ernesto Tamantyong runs Jollibee from Manila, the CEO of a homegrown brand that has captured the hearts of Filipinos. An Asian fast food chain that probably has the best chance of hitting it big time around the world with its recipe of fried chicken and sweet spaghetti. We never thought to grow that big. It started maybe with the passion uh, to excel in, in the business. We wanted to focus our, our core competence in uh, food service because that's where we are good at. The Filipino brand has hit Manhattan, London and many parts of the world, operating 4,500 stores in 21 countries. One of the top success stories from the Philippines, an outlet where the late Anthony Bourdain had dubbed the wackiest and jolliest place on earth. The aim is now even higher and it is to be the top five restaurant companies in the world. Big ambitions for what was once an ice cream parlor in the 1970s by a band of brothers with an insatiable appetite for business. My brother Tony always liked to dream big. The goal at that time was to be number one in all the ice cream parlors in, in the Philippines. When hamburger a young burger? When it's jelly bee. Jelly bee young burger, the one with the young. And when we started the introducing hamburger and transform the ice cream parlor business into hamburger business. The goal then was to be number one hamburger chain in the Philippines. And at the same time, we were already thinking of expanding abroad. Jolly Bee may milkshakes, burgers, spaghetti, chicken joy. And when we achieved the number one position in the Philippines, then he dream bigger. Philippines in its bag, Jollibee is hungry for more. Since speaking to us back in 2008, it has acquired brands like America's Smash Burger and Philippines Chow King. It also licensed franchises such as Burger King and Dunkin' Donuts. We identified three pillars, which are the Philippines, China, and U.S., because these are the, the one of the big economies in the world, and we intend to replicate the successes of the Philippines in China and, and U.S. as well. You've also acquired a stake in Mexican chain Tortoise Frontera, which is also a U.S. brand. What's next? Are you looking to acquire more U.S. food brands? Potentially, what are you eyeing? Yes, uh, we are open to explore new acquisitions. And our, our focus is on companies that have strong superior product and that has potential to grow. So that the concept should be scalable and we are looking at more or less it should fall within the quick service restaurant segment or the fast casual segment. And uh, the reason why we acquired Smash Burger and Tortas is because they fall into that category. Smash Burger has one of the best tasting uh, hamburgers in the world <laughs> and we think it has a great potential to expand not only in the USA but also outside the, the states. Same with Tortas, we were lucky to, to form a joint venture with the renowned chef uh, Rick Bayless and uh, we also believe that the, the torta sandwich that they serve in Tortas Frontera mm -hmm. can go beyond the uh, USA. Hi, I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.